Jennifer's got the right idea. Jennifer's got the rape, rape lighting. Rape, rape. Dude, nice. This is like the Brady Bunch. It's about everything. Of course, now that somebody's mentioned the Brady Bunch, I'm going to have to do that in editing. Does that make Jeff Alice? Excellent. Yes, Jeff <laughs> Alice. Oh, my God. Here's the story. Of a lady. Who's really, 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 really,
that made perfect sense but i was still i'm i still am traumatized from that anytime i do an acoustic show i'm just like making sure this that live sound um i was playing with my band down in la at, uh, and my singer at the time was in college and we were playing a large college party and these dudes went to a lot of trouble to set this thing up i mean it was full-blown few hundred people there and um i had a ridiculously large drum set for what we were doing and i was kind of packed onto this little riser that they'd made and i sat down and i didn't realize i was probably two and a half songs into it and i didn't realize that my throne was slipping backwards and it went off and i went back and sort of and there was um and they had put like like two kegs behind me and so i caught myself on the keg and knocked one of them over and then there was like a wall and a like a, like dude's like bedroom behind me or something and i mean it was like real close to going all the way down but um that was that was that was probably my most yeah that was pretty bad damn but, so you like but david did you yeah. really go all the way down <laughs> no but oddly enough I'm, so uh -oh. so that exact same night my girlfriend who was is, well, that the, is that the super 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 hot girlfriend you had yeah, yep, jennifer yeah she was really gorgeous mm. but, but she came mm -mm -mm. up through, through, through those doors that were there and started and i mean she was getting frisky and i'm like baby i'm freaking playing and she's like rubbing me. i'm like going stop i was uh, we did an ACDC set, and it was at the very end. We were like, I think we were like the last band on. And by the time we went up there, the levels were so high because everybody kept cranking it up, every band before us cranking it up. We got up there. We couldn't hear Jack. We're playing, trying to play ACDC, AC which should be the most simple thing you can think of. We got so lost. <laughs> we couldn't hear anything. Keith Parkers was on drums, and he looked up at me, and I'm like, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> so, we way back then, after the solo, I don't know how we did it, but yeah, it was. I think people were so drunk they probably didn't notice. At least I hope. Sure, they're way too cool. Mine's just, I mean, comparatively speaking, obviously I didn't have my fly open. I mean, that's always a possibility, but um, <laughs> thankfully I've, I've avoided that honey track. I uh, was playing the Hawthorne Theater. And, uh, you know, I'm short for those of you who haven't actually met me. I jumped off the stage. I landed it. So there's that. I felt like, whoa, okay, now I can do anything. Because that was not a, a very short wow. thing. That's kind of a tall jump for a short person. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you fucking landed that, you fucking badass bitch. And right as I'm thinking that and I'm singing and I'm missing beat, I realized that I've gone too far and my XLR cable has literally unplugged from my vocal processor. <laughs> but it was a prog metal band, so I knew I had like a good six minutes in the solo. <laughs> I turn around and I'm like, oh, serious mis miscalculation? Because the stage was the same height as me and I'm like, I'm not pulling myself up that, oh, fuck! Throw the XLR cable up on stage. And I have to literally run around the side of the fucking stage, you know, climb back up, not trip over everyone else's shit, plug myself in literally just in time for the next phrase. Panic in my head when I looked back after thinking I'm a fucking badass. I turn around, I'm like, oh. So let me paint a picture for you. My friend had just loaned, he just gotten, I think it was a, oh, I think it was, I think it was a Kramer. It was one of those three pickups with the gold Floyd Rose on it, the gold, uh, the gold pickups, the gold frets, everything, all the hard gold. The thing was like twenty five hundred bucks back in the day for you know us back in the hood. That's expensive. Oh, that's not it, but that's almost almost exactly it. He says, "I want you to play this at your your gig. We're playing this play, place called the Jackson Armory," and so <clears throat> the guys who put the show together, they had. Uh, they made a three-level stage, and it looks so cool, but they made it out of tables, okay? What? Oh. Three levels. See where I'm going with this? Three levels. The high level, the mid level is a little shorter, and the bottom level, right? Only two tables, right? Pushed together, right? So we got everything set up. The PA is on there, and everything's on there, and it's probably a third or fourth song, and I'm going. And I'm just, I'm shredding into my solo. I'm getting ready. I went down to the first level, right? And the crowd's all around the, the little the little stage at the bottom, right? So I go and I'm shredding and I step on the, that little stage 
and the earth opens up. <laughs> Boom. Right on my face. Oh. <laughs> right on my face. Smash on the tables. The tables almost go all the way to the ground. All you can hear is... <laughs> right there, I see the look on his face as I'm going down. He was like... And that's all I remember. <laughs> and these people are literally, you know, I'm going to say between 24 and 30 inches away from me, all the way around. And I got up and I was like, immediately... <laughs> Just shred away the pain. Shred away the pain. Um, every time I looked out in the audience, I just knew they were looking at me like, <laughs> God damn. Back. The guy was looking at his guitar and everything. I haven't, I haven't talked to that guy since. It's, it's weird. I was advised against me playing those guitars. Back in the 80s, like 80s when oh, I first wow. moved to Portland, I was doing this thing called Rex's Rock and Roll Circus. And ah. <laughs> have all these guitar tricks and shit that we did, you know? And I had this thing where I'd flip my bass and it would spin up and I'd catch it up here and then I'd flip it, flip back down and hit the note like, like it would go brr, boom right in and I'd hit the like a big E note or whatever it happened to be. Well, I flipped it up and I let go of it and my strap came off and my bass went brr, 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 right, on the, right on the ground. No. Luckily, there was a tech there, and he grabbed it, and I, I walked off to the side of the stage going like this. <laughs> my, another time, I blew the crotch out of my pants halfway through a show. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, I oh, did. Yes. Just went rock. <laughs> <laughs>